Okay, about the delay, there are three things that are have caused the, the protocol to be delayed a little bit. Nothing to be worried about. Before we get into those, I want to talk a little bit about a couple items from early of last week and also from, from previous week and, and kind of move forward and get ourselves caught, caught up. The first of the two items is the sur surgery. Remember I told you about the port surgery. Everything went fine. Everything is good. I didn't remember being out at all. It didn't even seem like I was out. Just a little bit of uh, discomfort when he was moving it around, adjusting it. But it was excellent because they were able to use that port two days later for my um, two pints of blood. I had the port in there and I felt no pain within two days after that surgery. And that was a lot easier through the port rather than from the periphery. Also, what happened two, two days before that, on a Saturday, I had bitten into a blackberry, crushed the seed, but, but it also broke a part of my molar off and made a real sharp edge but my tongue would find it every time I swallowed or talked. Well I, I mentioned that to the the team and they said no problem address that because we're still in between protocols. So I went to go do that and that was fine. They reconstructed that easy repair. But of course the Panorex from that same visit to the dentist showed that underneath one of my old root canals I had an infection that needed to be addressed. Well, that wasn't such good news. That's actually one of the reasons why the protocol was delayed. I then had to go see a specialist because obviously this guy was not an oral surgeon, didn't do this type of work. So I tried as quickly as possible. He, he made his effort to get me in the next couple days early in the week. Unfortunately, in her opinion, the tooth wasn't that stable and there was a fracture on the small bit of molar that was left and didn't seem worthwhile to rebuild that root canal. So her recommendation was to extract it. Long story short, I've been kind of going back and forth and I think Monday <laughs> everything should go okay. I got an appointment with it. I had to find an in-network dentist to take care of this extraction. Hopefully I don't know what to expect if we're going to need antibiotics on top of that. I don't know because that will impact on how we start with the protocol. So that's one of the reasons delaying it, waiting to see to address this dental issue. Now there's no pain. I have no pain, nothing. It's underneath an uh, old root canal and the nerve has long since been removed and it's not affecting any of the other teeth. So I'm not feeling anywhere else. Anyway, that sets up one of the main reasons, like I said, why we're waiting. Uh, the other is insurance. <laughs> Surprise. Insurance acceptance of what is going to be for the first protocol, what they want to do is a split infusion. Armor rep for Arzalex came to the hospital. Again, I told you how new it was. I actually gave a little talk and a lecture on the, to, the, to the nurses infusion center on what to look for and how to dose this and they decided to even slow it down further which would make it it was a seven hour start first infusion they wanted to make that 14 hours which is ridiculous because the the infusion center isn't open that long I mean if I was in there at eight I have to be I'd be out of there like at nine uh, or some kind of crazy stuff like that or ten their their way around that was to split that infusion into two seven hour infusions. But because now you've changed protocol from what was accepted by the insurance, that's gonna take time for the insurance to accept this new split decision. And of course, interestingly enough with the insurance again, this reflimid, since it's part of this, this, this protocol, as well as it was for the old protocol, there's still a, a, a problem with the delay in getting the drug. It looks like the first day I can get it is the 6th of February. So again, it wouldn't have mattered had we pushed everything up and tried to speed this thing up. We had Reflamid shipment being held up. So that's what we have this week. Uh, hopefully we'll be dosing by the time we talk again next week. So take care everyone. We'll talk to you next week. Questions again? Comments below. Cheers.